Hi, my name is Lars Bello and I'm like most of you working from home these days. So welcome to my living room. I brought, of course, my service hub to join me when we were not allowed to be in the office anymore. So just a few tips and tricks for me today. Uh, we're doing a small session on the service hub in the Microsoft whiteboard. As you might see, I'm already signed in. Uh, so if you're not, you can uh, tap this button and add your own uh, account. What that makes for your service hub would mean that everything I draw on the service hub or in the whiteboard will actually be saved. Another thing that is really cool is that all the notes that I have, even though I made it on my Surface Pro at home, I still have uh, access to it. And I even can bring up my iPhone and have the Microsoft whiteboard app on that one as well. So everything is, um, is synchronized. Another thing that I like is to uh, title the whiteboards uh, just to make it easier for, for myself uh, to, to find out which uh, whiteboard that I'm opening. So today I'm just uh, naming this one training, hit the done button and then open the whiteboard again. So now uh, the whiteboard is um, titled. And then when, for instance, I want to share this whiteboard, I'm always able to hit the plus button and it will look into my own active directory with those people that I work most with and I can hit one of them or I could actually just uh, start typing a name and it will search for my colleague Nede and I could invite her to, to the Microsoft whiteboard. One of the things that I can do here is I can choose if she's able to have a read only access or she can actually edit. I think the best part will be when we edit it. So we'll add her again, hit the invite button. I don't want to do that right now since she's not a part of, uh, of this demonstration. Another thing that I really like instead of uh, inviting specific people to the whiteboard, since that I'm working in a specific team, I could hit this and then post it directly into Teams. So instead of inviting everybody to join this whiteboard, a person by person, you would be able to uh, send it into the specific team that you would like to, and then put it into that channel you would like to have. So for instance, in my, we could put it in do more with teams. I post it directly into, to, um, to Microsoft teams. And then everybody in that team and channel would be able to participate in uh, the Microsoft whiteboard. And that is a really nice and easy feature to share uh, the knowledge and also share with everybody in the team. And then what you will see is when you invite uh, into Teams, let me see if I really did post it. Do, do more with Teams, host, then it's posted and then you would be able to uh, get the access to it. And then what you will see is that you will have these buttons up here which would indicate that there is actually more people invited to this Microsoft whiteboard. And then when people start to join the whiteboard and actually start to drawing and participate in the collaboration, you will have a, a participant list here. So it's not everybody that is in the team that would be uh, shown here in, the, uh, in this side, but you would be able to do it when they actually uh, have joined the whiteboard. So that is also one of the things that you could see if people actually have been into your whiteboard and, and participated in it. So just to go into Teams, just to share, instead of uh, bringing up my uh, Surface Pro, I would join uh, Teams uh, from the browser. That's one of the things. So teams.microsoft.com, if you want an easy way, oh, I need to spell it correctly, Teams. Microsoft.com. Uh, you, <clears throat> and one of the things that, that we really miss sometimes is the full Teams feature on the Surface Hub, but you would be able to use the web app instead and then just open up your Edge browser, sign into um, to the Surface Hub. Since it's a single sign on, you would be able to. Uh, have the very easy access to, to the whiteboard. So let me go to my teams, do what my teams, you can already see that this is, um, there's a new post in there 
and then you would be able to see the latest post and it's even including the training link uh, and also the name of the specific whiteboard. So that's very easy to hit the button right here uh, and then it will open up the Microsoft whiteboard and you will be able to participate uh, even though uh, you are on a PC at home, uh, preferably with touch, so that would make it a bit easier, but then you're actually able to collaborate. One of the things that we have heard is that a lot of people uh, have a lot of posts into their teams and instead of like having a long post and people have to look for the whiteboard, one of the things that I like to do is actually just to copy this link, copy the link and then add a, a whiteboard up here. So hit the website button and you could call it whiteboard. Ah. White board, or you can just call it training maybe, just for fun, to make it a bit different, training. There you go, and then you post, paste the link in here, paste, and then save. And in that way, they would be able to um, uh, open the app, and then you would be able to actually to, to hit that button, and then you uh, it's a very easy access to do it in that way. So for instance, if people is watching on the post and you want to have them going back to the, uh, the whiteboard that you have done for the training, people is actually able to see the training button up here. You could call it whatever you would like to have. And when they hit the training button, it will open up the application, even though they are on a PC, Windows 10, whatever they would like to have. So that's one of the tips and tricks that I really, really liked about it. So short one, but that's all for me today. See you. Bye.